In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint Kingpin for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Welcome back to the channel, and we're once again painting Marvel Crisis Protocol models in Painting Protocol by Tales of War Games. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the leader of the Criminal Syndicate affiliation, and it is Kingpin. Now, with Kingpin, he has got really one main colour and this is going to be this suit which we're going to be doing in white. Now you can see that I've primed it in khaki rather than white. Priming it in white and then trying to paint white is a lot tougher than doing a different colour and then working up. You could do it in grey as well. Grey would kind of give you some good shadows but I do prefer painting everything in khaki. So we're going to be doing everything in white. We're going to be doing the boots and uh, his shoes in black. Obviously his skin in uh, skin colour. We're going to be doing his uh, shirt as well as his tie as a separate colour as well um, but the main colour that we're going to be doing all the way around is this white and we're going to be building this up over uh, two or three different colours. The first colour we're going to be using is Vallejo Dark Sea Grey and it's a kind of um, middle tone between a very grey and a very uh, more whitish colour and as you can see as it goes on it's kind of got that um, nice lightish colour you want to base coat this across everything because this is going to be our base coat um, after this we're going to be using Vallejo Sea Grey um, and that is again another version of this but it's just a little bit lighter and it's almost a bit like a um, Olthen white uh, often grey from citadel colour but i prefer using these and these are my kind of go-to's if i want to start doing a white colour so what you want to do you just want to go all the way around and just make sure that you've got a nice even base coat across the whole of this suit jacket you want to go on if you get onto the um uh buttons and that that's not a problem we're going to go back over them in a gold anyway so that's not a problem at all but yeah, you just want to make sure that you can get everything in here. We're not going to be using any um, any other kind of striking colours on this. So just building up these base colours as best as we can. Making sure that you get this nice white is what we're looking for. So I'm just going to go around. Like I said, you want to do all of this jacket up to the sleeves. That side. Obviously all of this. The whole of the back. And then the trousers as well, which you want to be going down all the way around and then just stopping at these boots. If you get anything on the cane or the hands, that's not a problem. We're going to tidy them up at a later stage. But if we go around all of this and we'll be back for the next step. And now with the dark sea grey dried, you can see it's got a nice good base coat there for a suit. It's already kind of looking grey whitish. Um, but the next colour we want to be doing is just Vallejo Sea Grey, which is the next colour up. And as I was saying before, you'll see when it goes on, it's kind of that nice mid-tone between a grey and a white. And for this, you want to be covering most of it, but any of the recesses, so as you can see kind of here, where the shadows are already being picked up without a wash, you want to kind of leave them. But basically the rest of it, you just want to go in and cover it all in. As you can see, it's already looking quite white. Now, as it dries, it does go a bit more grey, but that's okay. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be going round. We're going to cover everything as we can, leave the recesses, and just kind of make sure it's a nice even coat. And then when we get onto the highest points and this is all dry, we're then going to be going in with that pure white to kind of brighten it all up. But you just want to go round, you want to um, fill in all of the top trousers shorts and especially around here you can kind of see it leaves it all in those recesses so it gives you a nice area to play with so you kind of want to take the top part but with this color you want to kind of just cut in as much as you can while leaving that shadow in the recess and then when we go in white we're going to be going over the top but i'm going to fill in all the colors with this sea gray and then we'll be back for the next step here he is with that next layer of grey. Now as you can see, it's looking very white already and that's the joys of this uh, sky grey paint. As you level uh, layer through it, it does become this kind of grey whitey colour. You've got shadows as well, so they're nice and uh, defined. 
Now, before we go into all the top edges with pure white, we're actually going to be doing the shirt, this tie, and all the skin. We're doing that because if we overspill and slip and go into this colour, we can then layer it up again with the sky grey, and we're not just going to then struggle to kind of get back to that colour if we're on pure white. Um, so the first colour we're going to be doing is Eschen Grey. We're going to be doing this for now. Eschen Grey is a kind of black slash dark grey it's a nice colour just to be going in and going all the way around you need to have a steady hand but you want to be going in and doing all of his collar all the way up to the edge of the suit the shirt you need to be going around the tie the tie we're going to be doing a kind of spot colour same as his uh, pocket handkerchief there we're going to be doing those in a kind of purpley pinky colour but start off with just want to be going around, like I said, being as careful as you can. Going in with all the ash and grey. Now, you need to do that side, that side. It's a little bit of his collar around, a little bit of a collar around his uh, shirt there. And you've got this part of his shirt that's come up, that trim of his shirt there, and that is it. So we'll do those with ash and grey, and then we'll be back for the next step. And with the Eschen Grey, what I've done is used Gilliman Flesh on the hands and the face. I did forget to record this part, but it's very simple. Just go over all of the sections with an even coat. Uh, make sure there's no pooling, and obviously just be careful as you get around to these parts, especially on the back of the head, that you don't get any uh, on the white sections. But we're going to be layering that up in a minute. But the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a warlord purple for the tie and then handkerchief it's quite a kind of pinky purple color it'll be a good base coat and again you just need to be a bit careful I mean with this one if you get a bit on the ash and gray you can tidy it up but you just want to be going in with a small detail brush just tidying up that area there you want to be going down to that part and then we're also going to be using um, the same color for the handkerchief just to give it a nice little spot color um, we are going to highlight it with a kind of light pink as well um, but yeah you just want to kind of go and especially this one just have a nice steady hand and you just want to follow it along in the pocket for that that's what we'll do I'll finish off uh, doing these bits and then we'll be back for the next step now with that Warlord purple in there, you can see it just gives them a nice little pop in colour. Um, and now we're going to highlight all of these little areas. So the first thing we're going to be doing is highlighting the Ashen Grey. And we're going to be using Mechanica Standard Grey for this. And we're not doing much. We're just going to go in and just highlight the very top part of the collar. Just give it an edge. You can't really see it there, but it just gives it a nice lighter edge. Collars, I'm going to do the same to go across the trim and to pick up the top part. This trim here, we're just going to go in. We're just going to highlight that part as well. You could use um, Mechanic, uh, not Mechanica Standard Grey, you could use um, Administratum Grey if you wanted a lighter colour. That's something I might do in a second. But yeah, the, just want to kind of give an extra bit of a layer to it. For the tie and the neckerchief, we're going to use a Vallejo Game Color Squid Pink, and we're just going and just doing a very light highlight just on the very top parts of it, just to give it an extra bit of color. Again, when you do the handkerchief, just be as careful as you can so it doesn't pick it out. Do that, and then. If you find that you've done your highlights a little bit too thick like I've found on tight, just go back in with your warlord purple. Just tidy it up where you can. Next, with the Gilman Contrast dried, we're going in with Kislev Flesh and we're just going to pick some of the higher parts of him. Just do chin, his nose, his eyebrows, to his ears, 
some of his cheekbones. You just picking out the highest part. Like so. Now for his fingers, you just want to kind of be as careful as you can. You just want to kind of go in and highlight along along it. You're just doing the top parts of it. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing another contrast flesh in a minute. A bit a lot thinner just to again blend all of this together now these jewels just leave them for the time being we're going to be doing them in a gold once the f we're happy with the finished flesh um, he's got a couple he's got a couple on that hand and then one on this hand as well so to go around highlight all the flesh with Kislev flesh and then you want to do a thin contrast wash which is going to be um, Gilliman flesh wash and you're going to be doing one part that three parts contrast medium and that will just give a nice thin glaze to then pull all of these uh, kind of colors together so we'll get all of that and then we'll be on to the next step as you can see with that flesh wash and the last bit because left flesh on the hands and face look great now what I've done is I have gone in and done a little administratum grey colour on the ash and grey just to give it an extra bit of pop but next thing we can be doing is all of his jewellery and the buttons on his jacket and we're going to be doing those in retributor armour now you're going to have to be as steady as you can as you do these you're just going to go in and just highlight all of it. Now he's got six down here. He's got a couple in his sleeves. And then also he's got his ring. So he's got a ring there, a ring there, and a ring there as well. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of them. And like I said, you need a really steady hand. Just take your time. Um, if you do get any armour on this then just tidy it up with a little bit um, of left flesh. If you do get it on the white, then obviously use some uh, sky grey just to kind of go back over it. But we'll get all of those done and we'll be on to the next step. Once all of those buttons and jewels are done, we've got two more things to do before we highlight the white. We've got the cane. So we're going to be doing the top part gold and the bottom part black. And then we're going to use that black on the shoes as well. So we'll get those done and then we'll get on to highlighting the white. And with that black and gold done, what we're going to do is just add one final wash, and that is just a little bit of Agrax into all of the gold bits, just to pick it all up. You don't need a lot, just dab it on so it goes into all the layers, into all the little uh, recesses here, and then go back to it and just take a lot of it off so it just sits in there, and just adds an extra layer in there we're going to do the same for the stuff just go down here for his cane and the top part of that and again for his sleeves we're just going to dab it in into both parts take it off your brush and then just pull away most of it so it just sits in the recesses and then for the jewellery you just want to kind of go over the top of it just to darken it down a teeny bit it's not a lot but that is it so next step we're just going to do a couple of highlights of Mechanica's standard grey on the boots and the cane we're just going to do one little line down the cane just to pick up the edge and again just on the edges of the boots we'll do those and then we'll come back and then we'll just do the 
uh, the last layer of white and then we will be done. We go with the highlight down the cane and on the boots, he's done. So like I said, the last bit that we have to do is highlighting this suit and you want to use a white. You can use whichever white you like, whichever one you prefer. Um, you can use GW White Scar, Vallejo Pure White, um, P3 Moro White seems to be quite a popular choice as well, but with this we are literally picking up the highest points, so you just want a corner on here, and then the top part of this pocket, you just want to take your time on this. You just add in that extra layer, that extra highlight. You don't need to go too crazy for this, you're just kind of doing some extreme highlights for this. You just want to go around anywhere where you think deserves a pure white. So a lot of these ridges, you can put them on, we'll put that on just up here. And you just go around finding all of them and you just do a little bit at a time, just take your time, make sure the paint's all thin enough but we'll do all the highlights, get them based and we'll see the finished product. And there's the finished model. If you like that video please hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel grow. Check out the Tales of Crisis podcast where we chat all things Marvel Crisis Protocol. If you want to see any specific characters painted up for the Painting Protocol series, let me know in the comments below and we'll be sure to cover them in future episodes. But until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.